Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. I would like to start off by thanking all of my old and new subscribers for joining me today. Um, obviously, whatever time of day it is, morning, noon, or night, I certainly hope you're having a good one. But I wanted to take a really quick moment to say that I'm sorry I've been like missing in action lately. Um, I haven't been making videos as much as I was, and that's just simply because during the holiday season, obviously, my hours at work were more than they are now. So I will be getting back into the loop, uh, hopefully crafting more and making more of my resin videos, my diving videos, and even maybe putting more of my hula hoop videos up here. Um, so yes, if you know anybody who would be interested in watching my content, please feel free to share or at least let them know. My channel is sort of at a standstill, it's still growing and developing, and I really get excited for the other people that I follow and I'm subscribed to watching their channel grow, and I would also like to see my channel grow. So without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go to the other side of the room, so I'll see you in a minute. Alright, I'm back. This dive is going to be from about the past five days of diving, so it wasn't all one haul. It's definitely not all from one store, it's from a few multiple stores, so I'm going to go ahead and just get started. I found a bunch of TurboTax of all different, like, kinds. I guess there's different, like this one says Premier, this one says Home and Business. Um, so, it was sort of a fail dive because they all say 2016. Um, they were all sealed. I did open this one just to see if like they were even in here. So I'm not necessarily sure what I'm going to do with these since you can't recycle CDs or DVDs. At least I don't think so. But I do know that some crafters like melt DVDs into jewelry. So I might just try selling them. And also I could take the sleeve out of these and use them for my DVDs that has have lost their homes. So at least... I could purpose them for something, but yeah, that was an epic fail, so rock on. I found three magazines, which uh, I guess are just kind of good to look through. Um, this one is Midwest Living. This Whoa. one is Eating Well. Whoa. There's actually really good recipes in this one. This cup, like, I want to make that, and Paige wants me to make that, so. But there are a lot of good recipes in that one, and then this one is family circle or something, but just to give me something to read, why not? I have this super cute, I think there's space on it, Halloween bucket. I found like three of these. They're just in the other room and I haven't done a haul on them, but here's one. And this had um, one of these in it, an R2-D2 fun on the go, and then also three cotton candies. These don't expire until sometime this year. Um, July of 2018. So, I'll give it a whirl. Also found a splat ball. This next part is going to be from the same store. I have these two body washes, one in Shopkins and one in Paw Patrol. And then we did test all of this out just to make sure that um, everything electronic worked, and it does. So I have this set of headphones. And then this speaker here. This set of headphones, the box was in the dumpster, but it fell out when I was pulling it out, and I just said whatever and put it in the recycling box. And then this comes with a case and earbuds, and they're in there. And then this guy here. Now, sadly, these are not electronics, but these were frozen. It's been um, below zero a lot below zero, and I did find this pack of emoji nail polishes, and these three are the ones that are still liquid. The other ones I have thrown away, they were really cute, but um, they uh, jellified, if that's what you call it, so they are no good, but those three are, so it's cool. And then this was not in that dumpster, it was somewhere else, but here is another pack yet of Kotex pads, liners. So I'm going to get to a really exciting part because I know that many of you know that at my makeup dumpster I almost never find anything, especially palettes. It's been a long time. The last palette was the Pirates of the Caribbean palette. And oh, I also want to note that today's look is all dumpster except for my highlight. So I'm going to try to put a picture at the end of the video if I can figure out how to do that. but. I randomly decided to go past an old location that I've been avoiding due to 
employees. And I found this Morphe palette. It's missing three of the pans, but everything else was great, so I'm assuming that that's why they threw it away. This is the bronzed Mocha 25B, if anyone was interested. Not in buying it, I'm keeping them. In fact, I'm using one of these palettes on my eyes. And then this Morphe it was also missing three pans, and then two were cracked. But it's awesome. This one is the 25A. Then I was like, cool, I'm going to go to another location. And wah wah, I have two eyeliners. But this is a dual ended by the store brand. And this is Majestic on this end and Smoke on the other. You can see I was swatching them earlier. This is Purple is Majestic. It's probably going to show up stupid on the camera. And then the Smoke is like a nice smoky gray or a muted black even. And then this is NYX, which I love. And this is in the color peekaboo and it's a lip liner my bad for saying it was not but sometimes I use my lip liners on my eyes anyway so it's cool all right let's get into some freegan and then I will end the video I came across some more bottles of ruby red and I know that some of my subscribers already know that I love grapefruit juice so this is always a good find for me but I found some stuff that I am going to be donating and I've already um, giving out some bags to people and I will be going back to my Starbucks on Sunday to go get their pastries before they throw them away. If anyone doesn't know that story, feel free to comment and I could do a video on it or I could just do a Q&A video if you want. I really want to do a Q&A video. If I could get 20 questions, I'll do one. So anyway, here's some freaking stuff. I finally found the Skinny Pop. I f oh my god, like Blended Abode and I... Oh, who else? Diving in stilettos, maybe. I don't think she really gets food that often, but so many people always find this stuff, and I never do. So I've got popcorn galore. So here's this one. It is just popcorn. <laughs> just popcorn, please. I've got white cheddar. A lot of these don't expire for several months, and some of them, excuse me, did expire in December, so of course they're fine. Got the Chick Boom with sea salt. I'm going to be giving some of this to one of my co-workers as well as some of the homeless people. Another sea salt. She's doing some crazy January diet where she's like, no gluten, no this, no that, no, no anything with flavor. And I was like, girl, I got you. I have all this popcorn. Hold on one second. And then I have this one right here. And this guy right here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm making so much noise. This guy right here. I know that crinkly can be like holy hell on your ears. This guy right here. And two more that I'm going to show because I actually have two more bags, so I'm probably going to do another video. And then, so there's that guy there. Let me see. Hold on one second. So I'm going to just finish this video up with a few more things, and then I do have two other bags that I want to go through, so I'll just try to post another video for you. If I don't do it today, it'll be tomorrow. But I've got these freezer Ziploc bags. They're blue. And then I have Paw Patrol sandwich bags. Another box of Glad bags. These are just the clear... Uh, 10 bag gallons. I love when I find these because I use them and I also give them away. So here is just a bag of quart size freezer bags or a box I should say. I have Ninja Turtle sandwich bags and another thing of Wide Seal quart storage bags. Quart storage bags again. And then I've got one, two of these pill planner cases. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. Comment below. I like to comment back. So whatever time of day it is, again, morning, noon, or night, I certainly hope you're having a good one. And I will see you next time.